gonna go clean the RV again. Hello there. My transport is dirty and making me so sad. Please clean it up so I can smile once more. Why do you why are you talking like a robot? Anti-gravity panel? Did he get kidnapped by aliens or something? The Mauka I2 Desert? I think he may have been taken over by an alien. Um. Ah, the omnidirectional. Ah. I, I understand. Sure thing, but you didn't need to, uh, to pose as my friend. You just had to, uh. Could have just asked. Apologies for the deception. And relax, this isn't an alien invasion or anything weird like that. Cerulean Sky. We're simply time traveling scientists from the year 2278. Okay. Okay. Then why do you look very stereotypically UFO alien here? You couldn't have come up with a, a different motif for your device? For your spaceship? I was like, wow, that RV, the RV is looking pretty clean. What do you mean you need me to clean it again? I need to get, okay, landing hinge. There's another landing hinge here. Okay. Ripper, hinge, hinge, socket. I need to do that three more times. My question is, why does your super ultra futuristic spaceship need to be washed by just a random power washer? You're gonna have to explain that one to me. Okay, gripper, hinge, hinge, get yeah, a socket still dirty. Okay. Last gripper. Not expecting uh, to be watching a UFO. 
This honestly looks like the same kind of UFO design as uh, Destroy All Humans. Very reminiscent in uh, aesthetic. Like with the, particularly with these landing legs on it. I wouldn't be surprised if this is, that's where these, uh, the designers of the game got the uh, inspiration for this design. Man, what a great game Destroy All Humans is. Okay. Someone hit us using technology that even we are unfamiliar with, disabling our entire systems with a strange substance and forcing us to crash land. Until our vehicle is completely clean, we're stuck here. Also, it could do with a wash anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have a stool anywhere by chance? I don't know why I have like a shovel and these big bins. I'd rather have a stool, but I can't even, okay. I need to get these tractor units clean. So we got the housing, got the tractor beam, but there's still these wave pulse tracker units. Thinking if I get them from the side, I'll get some angles that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Okay, that worked. So next is the auxiliary gyromagnetic disc. I have only played, in Destroy Humans, I've only played the first game and the second game. I haven't played, I think I own the one that's on the Wii, I think it's called Big Willy Unleashed. And I don't, I think they also have Wrath of the Furon or Path of the Furon. I think that's another one. But I have not played either of those. And then they, they started to reboot the franchise. They released a remaster of the first game. Uh, like a year or two ago. And I think I saw that they were working on remastering the second game next. I'll have to go back and play them. I mean, remastered games are an excuse for me to get to play the same game over again, because usually I try and avoid it with, you know, my, my mission to beat all the games. It's a waste of time and on that goal for me to... go back and play games over again. But when you get a remaster or a reboot, then I am I am justified in doing so. Okay, next we're gonna get these gravity plating. I think it looks like these are separate pieces. Like each one of these slices is a piece. Yeah, okay.
I'm a little surprised at how low my percent is at the moment, though. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I've cleaned more than 26% of it. Maybe I'm wrong with how much there is up on top of here. Anyway. This plate's still not clean. There we go. I kind of like this one. It's it's big, pretty flat areas. It could be. This is pretty satisfying. Okay, so now I need to get this uh, the frame around this disc. God, this ladder is now going to be in my way. Not popping. Assuming that, yeah, I gotta get the, the back side of this ring here. Okay, I feel like I've gotten the entire back side of the ring. How much is left? It's hot, damn it. Well, maybe it'll pop while I'm trying to get the disc. We came here to solve the historical mystery as to why Mount Rushless suddenly became so angry, but then just as suddenly stopped. It's not known to you guys yet, but Rushless is the master key for the entire Pacific Ring of Volcanoes. When it blows, they all blow. And the last time that happened, we said goodbye to the dinosaurs. So you're saying it wasn't a meteor strike. It was a volcanic eruption. just likes to tell their secrets to the power washing man, don't they? Okay, this trim is 
still quite dirty, and it's because of the inside of it. Is that the... No, I'm trying to get the main gyrometic magnetic disc frame. Where's the difference? Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I need to get the Tritalium saucer lower rim and the polarized saucer plating. I don't know why they're different. I'm basically trying to get everything that's left on the bottom of the saucer so that all I have to do after that is just to clean the top of the saucer. trying to figure out exactly what what's on the bottom and what's not. So this is the lower rim. This is not the lower rim, but I think this is dirty this these dirty spots inside are. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So those dirty spots are the lower rim. So I need you.
lower rim, the, the polarized saucer plating gets all the way up on the top there. Tritalium lower rim, same thing. Okay, this lower rim needs to be cleaned, probably in the same like gap as the other one. Easy. Then that one is there, and then this lower rim is already cleaned. So I think we're good to just get on top of the saucer. We flew close to the volcano in the dead of night, FYI, with just a few lights on. We were spotted and shot down by a jet plane, and now this timeline is all over the place. Our data now suggests that Mount Rushless has passed the point of no return and is going to blow. Until a local power washer comes and saves the day. No. Yep. Oh, that was some air. So where does this hyper propulsion drive? God, I keep falling off. Can we move the ladder maybe closer to where I keep falling off, please? Okay, easy enough. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it now. Uh, we're gonna, let's focus on the main gyromedic disc here then. And the, and the frame that's in closer into the center from there.
Nice. Okay, now I don't need to worry about doing the, the, the rim anymore. Let's get the anti-gravity plating then. Let's just do each of those. By the way, how was our early 21st century parlance? Most of the era's anthropological archives were lost in the Second Martian War of 2145. I mean, you're talking more realistically now than you were when you were trying to, to get me here. And how nice is Red Velvet Cake? We're defo going to rep replicate that long lost recipe if we manage to get back to the future. Red Velvet Cake. You know, I haven't had a good Red Velvet Cake in quite a while. One of my favorite yogurt flavors actually used to be a Yoplait Light Red Velvet Cake. And they just stopped making it. And I don't know why. It was so good. So now my current favorite, barring that one, is Yoplait Light's Boston Cream Pie. Because that stuff is also tasty. Plus, it's decently low in sugar, which I'm trying to cut a little more sugar out of my out of my life uh, to to some moderate success, minimal success. <laughs> sugar is tasty, man. But I know sugar is probably one of the biggest causes of my uh, current weight situation. That and lots of cheese. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if the cheese situation is ever gonna get any better. I like cheese way too much. Mac and cheese in particular is oh, so good. Whenever I go to a restaurant, mac and cheese is an option. I basically have to get it. It doesn't matter. Okay, all the anti-gravity platings are done. Let's work on this. Uh, the deflector housing. This is all part of the deflector housing too. Get the fluidic deflector dish.
There we go. So where are these vents still dirty? Okay, and that gets both sides? Yeah, okay. Next up is the auxiliary gyromagnetic disc. So apparently the deflector housing is still dirty. Deflector housing is uh, not dirty anymore. Auxiliary gyromagnetic disc frame. to figure out what this actually means. Is this dirty? <laughs> Apparently there. I, I couldn't even see what I was spraying. Okay. <clears throat> We need to get the view dome rim. Now we have the... We're missing a tritalium saucer. Which is in the, like, one of these outer rim things. Here's a polarized saucer plating here. We have one more. I think I just saw something. Tritalium saucer. Okay. Got it. One more polarized, which is this one here. I think it was the edges. Like there. And there. Now all that's left is the view dome. Let's get it done. 
Saving this for last. I just got launched. Holy crap. Wishy, you're not gonna believe what we have discovered. Come quick. Oof. Well, she gone, and there goes my ladder, just on the ground. Okay. I like how it showed the uh the RV at first. And there it goes. Cerulean sky. Systems are fully operational. Spectral analysis reveals a trace mineral with unusual properties. That's not enough time. There's not enough time between now and the eruption to fix things here, but we've got a lead that might help us solve things in the past. You'll know we were successful if you ever see us again. You'll know we weren't if Russia explodes and the skies go dark for 20 years. Thank you again, Power Wash Services. Uh, Cerulean sky. Okay, okay, we have a palace.